Greetings everyone, I'm the UK Gamer and in this video I'm doing a pickups video with a twist. But before we get into that, to those of you who are coming back to my channel, thank you very much, it's much appreciated and you may have noticed that we are in unfamiliar surroundings with hypnotic blanket and it is hypnotic because earlier it made me think I was a chicken. I am better now though. Anyway, reason being, I'm at my girlfriend's house rather than my house, so this is being filmed in their front room rather than my bedroom where my collection is. Although, you wouldn't think it's a bedroom looking at it. I'll do a room tour one day. But still, thank you for coming back. And if you're new to the channel and the videos, thank you for joining. I hope you enjoy what you see. Please feel free to check out my other videos and please also feel free, in fact, I would really love this if you could leave me feedback on what you like and don't like so i can improve the content i provide to you okay so i know some of you will be familiar with this but there's a youtuber called colonel dino in the youtube gaming community he's a very good youtuber i will link to his channel below if you watch him you know what i mean if not, I promise you, you will not be disappointed. And he regularly does these challenge videos where he'll go to CEX and he'll have to spend a certain amount of money and get a certain amount of games for a system for that money. There are rules on this, such as he's not allowed to get yearly sport releases, such as FIFA, which is a bit of a pain to me because I'm trying to collect FIFA, and also has to get the games that he does not own. He has done the Xbox One, the Xbox 360 recently, and I believe a PS2 one as well. So I've taken that concept with his permission. Thank you very much, Gerardinho. It's much appreciated. And I have done that, and I have gone for the Nintendo Wii. I've also added a new rule, which I'm going to follow, which is each price point can only be used a maximum of two times. For example, I'm doing five Wii games for five pounds. I'm only allowed to use a one pound game twice. So, this has all been adhered to. So, therefore, as you can see here, there are five Wii games, and I did spend five pounds for this, obeying all the rules. But before we get into them, I picked up a game recently which I have been after for a long time. Now, I'm going to admit, it is not a big budget title by a long shot. It's a 50p PS2 game. So, you probably can see it shovel away and it may as well be, to be honest. This is a game I found thanks to the Retro Bear, again, channel link below. So, I'm sure you know what game it is, but to everyone else, Battle Construction Vehicles. Sorry, it's like burp there. This is a game I have wanted for a long time, ever since I saw the Retro Bear play this game. He picked it up, later done a playthrough video after I requested it, much appreciated. And I finally picked this up. It had never been in my local CX until after I bought it. Sounds about right. But I finally have my own copy. So, woo. Also, bonus in this video. Can you name what game this character is from? Bonus points if you know the name. Your prize? A virtual chocolate chip cookie. Why not? Anyway. The five games that I have bought. Anyway, where was I? What just happened? Okay, the first game. Super Fruitful. I'm not entirely sure what game this is, but I know it's a puzzle game featuring fruit, so I suppose that's useful to know. Uh, looks colourful. 
and also showing on the back. And there is multiplayer mode, so that's something else. It doesn't have a manual, but it does have the information booklet and a, to be honest, basic red disc, which is a bit boring. I do have to admit that. But the disc itself is actually in really good condition. So this game cost me 75p. Looks like it may be worth it. The second game. This was the most expensive of the bunch at £1.50. I've heard of it, never played it, so it should be interesting. Thrillville, off the rails. It seems almost like theme park if you've ever played that. It's, I mean, on the back, for instance, it says, new, crashing. Yeah, talking about crashing on roller coaster game. Also socialising and mini games for Multiplayer mode. You build a theme park and then you can basically destroy it by the sound of it. And the disc is upside down, but at least it looks a bit more interesting than a plain red one. Interestingly, we have the manual and the information booklet and apparently a separate control card, which is different. At first, I thought it was one of the Club Nintendo cards, but apparently not. That's different. The third game is one I've seen light around, but never played, never bought it. It is We Cheer. Now, it's by 505 Games, which generally doesn't have the best reputation. However, you may also notice Bandai, so that intrigues me. I'm not into cheerleading. I do have All Star Chili, the one and two for the Wii though. I ain't playing with my nieces. Apparently, I'm a really good cheerleader. Who's a fault Not me. Anyway, the case is a little bit damaged on the pack. I don't know how well you can see that. But the inside got the manual, got the disc again, boring blue one. Although, the holographic Wii Cheer is quite cool. Disc itself. A few scratch here, but nothing too much. Again, 75p. Two games left that were a pound each. So it's two at 75p, which is 150. 150 for three quid, and then two pound games for five pounds. I am, of course, leaving the best game for last. So the penultimate game, perhaps the biggest one of the lot, the most well known. Driver, Parallel Lines. I've never played this, however, I do own Driver 1, 2 and San Francisco. Haven't played them all. Driver 2 is brilliant in my mind. I really enjoy San Francisco as well. But I've never played this one, so I'm intrigued to see what it's like. Although it does have an 18 rating, which is interesting. Because there's obviously not many Wii games with that. Um, yeah, driving, shooting, Seems very Grand Theft Auto-esque. Uh, interestingly, it's got a plain black disc. But that effect around the uh, driver parallel lines bit actually looks quite cool, I think. Or is it just me? Also, we've obviously got the manual, so that's good. Disc itself. <sighs> a few marks, but not too bad. Okay, so. Last game. This is easily the best game of the lot. In fact, you know, before we get into it quickly, let me introduce this video's mascot. Humph the cat. He is a good boy. Meow. He wants to introduce the last game, which is none other than Bob the Builder Festival of Fun. I am generally trying not to laugh right now. I had to do it, I'm sorry. Interesting fact for this game. I've seen it around, I've never played it. I didn't think I'd ever own it. However, before my first fifth, ugh, let's forget that ever happened. For my 15th birthday, which was 17 years ago, by the way, 
My mum actually rung into a local radio station and requested that the Bob the Builder Can We Fix It song got played over the radio for my birthday, specifically stating I was 15. Cheers, mum. Thanks a bunch. Anyway, look, you've got all your characters there. And it even says on the back itself, you've got Lofty, Bob the Builder, Pilchard the Cat, and of course, Spud, who I believe is a scarecrow. I don't even know how I remember that. And if you don't know, Bob the Builder himself is voiced by Neil Morrissey. So, yeah. I can't think what program he was in called. Can't really can't think what it is with Martin Clunes. Remember Haven Badly. Never watched it, really. But there you go. Anyway. All we know is it's a very special day. Don't know why. But we have to get the summer festival started. And look at the orangeness of it. It's so orange. Although I do have to say, at least it's a bit more original disc compared to pretty much all the other ones. So I'll give it that. <laughs> Ooh, slight marking, but generally good condition. So yeah. So, the five games, just to quickly summarise. Super Fruitful for 75p. We Cheer for 75p. Thrillville, Off the Rails for £1.50. Driver Parallel Lines for a pound. And finally, Bob the Builder Festival of Fun for £1. Pound, totaling £5. Have you played any of them games or own them? If you have, please let me know if they're any good. I'm intrigued. Although I do intend to give them a try. Especially Bob the Builder. You know it has to be done. Because after all, can we play it? Yes, we can. Okay, so normally at the end of my videos, I like to leave a question. So, this video's question has not actually been decided yet, but I will come up with one. And it will be, if you own any kids' video game, such as that We Cheer or Bob the Builder. Is there one which is a guilty pleasure of yours to play? If so, what is it? Me? I have no idea. But there's just something in my head telling me it could well become that. <laughs> which is pretty bad, I will admit. So, yeah. I would just like to shout out Colonel Dino, again, I'll leave his video below one more time for giving me permission to use this challenge idea. It's much appreciated. I hope I've done it justice as well. Uh, go check out him and the Retro Bear, who, as I said, showed me the Battle Construction Videos game, which, by the way, has a brilliant intro. Shame about the gameplay. So. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video content. Please feel free to leave me feedback, like the video, comment, share it, click the notification bell so you know when future videos are coming. Also, I'll be posting additional content and updates on the videos on my social media accounts with the descriptions below for the Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. I hope that you've enjoyed the video and I will see you all soon. Live long and prosper.